Time does not just measure events, it actually shapes the way the universe works. When you look at a clock, it feels like time is just ticking forward second by second. But in the universe, time is not always steady. It can stretch, slow down, or speed up depending on where you are. That strange behavior of time plays a big role in something we all feel every day. Gravity. We often think of gravity as a pulling force that keeps us on the ground or makes things fall. But gravity is not really a force at all. It is the result of the way time and space bend around heavy objects. This idea comes from Albert Einstein, who showed us that time and space are not two separate things. Together they form something called space-time. And when mass is placed in space-time, it changes how time flows. That change in time affects how objects move. So when something falls, it's actually following the path created by bent time. This changes everything we thought we knew about gravity. Instead of pulling, gravity is more like guiding. It's time itself helping to move things, showing that time does not just pass, it causes motion to happen. Time flows more slowly near massive objects, and this simple truth leads to some of the most surprising effects in physics. Imagine two identical clocks. One is placed on the top of a mountain and the other is placed deep underground. After a while, the clock on the mountain will show a slightly later time than the one below. This happens because Earth's gravity is stronger closer to its center, and that stronger gravity bends time more. The result is that time actually ticks more slowly in places with more gravity. This is not just an idea, it's been proven by incredibly precise atomic clocks and by satellites in space. The reason this matters is because the speed of time affects how things move. In areas where time is slower, objects move differently than they do in places where time flows faster. This difference in time causes things to fall, orbit, or behave in ways we understand as gravity. That's why satellites must be adjusted carefully. They're moving through regions where time flows slightly faster than on Earth. Without correcting for that, GPS wouldn't work properly. Even light, which has no mass, bends around stars because the time in that region is slower than the time farther away. The idea that time runs differently in different places is one of the most powerful ways to understand gravity. Space-time is not just a clever word, it describes the true fabric of reality. In our daily lives, we think of space and time as totally separate. But Einstein showed that they are actually parts of one connected thing, space-time. When a massive object like a planet or star exists in space-time, it bends both space and time around it. That bending is what we experience as gravity. If only space were bent and time stayed the same, objects might drift strangely or not fall at all. They follow what's called a geodesic, which is the natural path through curved space-time. Time becomes slower near these objects, and that slower time acts like a slope. Objects naturally roll down that slope, not because they are pulled, but because moving through time takes less effort in that direction. This helps explain why all objects, no matter their weight, fall at the same rate. This view of gravity as a feature of space-time replaces the idea of invisible forces with something even more elegant, motion shaped by the flow of time itself. Objects fall because they are moving through time that flows unevenly near massive things, not because a force is pulling them down. Think of time as a gentle river flowing through the universe. When there's a massive object like Earth sitting in space-time, it changes the shape of that river. The ball moves toward Earth not because it's pulled, but because it's following the easiest path through the flow of time. This slowdown in time acts like a slope, guiding the ball downward. The ball speeds up as it moves through regions where time is getting slower and slower. That change is what we call acceleration. This explains why all things fall the same way, no matter how heavy they are. Even when astronauts orbit Earth, they're not floating because there's no gravity. They're actually falling along a curved time path that circles the Earth. Everywhere in the universe, from the tiniest grain of dust to the biggest galaxy, things move according to how time is shaped around mass. The simple act of falling turns into something beautiful, an object dancing along the curves of time. Objects don't just fall, they accelerate as they fall, and that happens because time itself is stretched unevenly by mass. Imagine walking downhill. At first, the slope is gentle and you walk slowly. As the slope becomes steeper, you speed up without anyone pushing you. 
That's exactly what's happening when an object falls near Earth. The time gradient makes the object move faster, just like walking down a steeper hill makes you move faster. Time ticks slower near the ground and faster higher up, so anything falling naturally moves from the faster time region into the slower one. As it does, its speed increases. This is what we experience as acceleration. But in reality, the object is just following the natural flow of space-time. The steeper the time slope, the stronger the acceleration. That's why gravity feels stronger closer to Earth's surface than it does far away in space. This explains why astronauts in deep space feel almost weightless. The time flow is nearly flat, so the slope is very small. Instead of needing a force to cause acceleration, we realize that acceleration can be caused just by the way time is arranged. When we look at a falling object, we're seeing it respond to the structure of time itself. This makes gravity feel less like magic and more like a natural part of the universe's design. Once we understand the time gradient, we can see gravity not as a mystery but as a consequence of how the universe bends the clock for everything and everyone. The natural path that objects follow through space-time is called a geodesic, and this path is shaped by both space and time. In a flat, empty universe with no mass, these paths would be straight lines and objects would move without changing direction. But in our universe, where massive planets, stars and galaxies exist, space-time is curved. That curvature bends geodesics and everything from falling apples to orbiting moons follows them. These geodesics are not chosen or forced, they are simply the smoothest, easiest paths available. Time plays a major role in shaping these paths. As mass bends time, the geodesic bends as well, guiding objects along curves that appear as acceleration or attraction. The more time is bent, the more sharply the geodesic curves. That's why gravity feels stronger near massive objects. The geodesic isn't just responding to bent space, it's reacting to bent time. This is why even light, which has no mass and always moves at the same speed, follows curved paths near stars. Light moves through time, just like everything else, and when time is bent, its path bends too. When you see a planet orbiting a star, it's not being held in place by a rope or pulled by an invisible hand. It's simply following a geodesic, a curved path shaped by the slowing of time around the star. This same principle explains why objects fall straight down on Earth. They're tracing out the geodesic defined by Earth's gravity, which is just the curvature of time near its surface. Without bent time, geodesics would be flat, and gravity as we know it wouldn't exist. The beauty of geodesics is that they remove the need for mystery. They show that all motion is just the natural outcome of how time and space are arranged. Whether an object is falling, spinning, or floating, it is moving exactly as the geometry of space-time tells it to, and time is a key part of that geometry. The geodesic is the path through the bends in time, and every object is just riding along that path. There's no struggle, no force, just movement that matches the shape of time. When you understand geodesics, you begin to see the universe as a great flowing map where every object is simply following the lines drawn by time itself. The bending of time doesn't just affect how objects move, it actually helps shape space as well. In the universe, time and space are so tightly linked that changing one can change the other. When a massive object causes time to slow down near it, that slower time influences the way space behaves around it. The stretching of time acts like a weight on the fabric of space, pulling it down and creating curvature. This means that time doesn't just respond to gravity, it helps create it. The slower time becomes, the more the space around it curves. This connection explains why space around Earth is bent, even though we often focus on time. The two are part of the same thing, space-time. A planet doesn't just bend space like a ball on a trampoline, it bends time too. And the bending of time strengthens the bending of space, they reinforce each other. So when we say something moves because space is curved, we also mean that time is helping to curve that space. This relationship becomes even more clear near very massive objects like neutron stars or black holes. In those places, time slows down so much that space itself gets pulled into steep curves. The stronger the bend in time, the sharper the bend in space. Without the influence of time, space wouldn't bend the same way and gravity would not have its familiar shape. 
Time acts like a hidden sculptor, shaping the curves of space without being seen directly. It's only when we study how clocks tick near these objects that we see what time is doing. That hidden shaping explains why the orbits of planets and the paths of light match the predictions of general relativity so perfectly. When we measure these paths, we are really tracing the way time has shaped the space around them. It's a reminder that time is not just a background setting. It's an active part of the universe's structure, helping to form the hills and valleys that all things roll through. Every bend in space is connected to a change in time, making time a true partner in creating the gravity we feel. What we experience as the force of gravity is actually the result of time flowing differently in different places. This may sound surprising, but it explains many things that were once a mystery. When time moves slower near massive objects, it creates a kind of invisible slope. Objects naturally move down that slope, not because they're being pulled, but because they're following the path through time that requires the least effort. This motion feels exactly like being pushed or pulled, but it's actually just a response to the way time is arranged. A person standing on Earth feels heavy, not because the ground is pulling them down, but because the time beneath their feet is flowing more slowly than the time above their head. This creates a difference that their body reacts to. The bending of time gives us the feeling of weight. That's why people on smaller planets feel lighter. There's less bending of time, so the slope is gentler. Near a massive planet, time bends more and the slope is steeper, so gravity feels stronger. Everything in the universe reacts to this bending. It doesn't matter if it's a rock, a spaceship, or a beam of light. They all move in ways that match the structure of time around them. Even when you jump into the air and fall back down, you're just moving along the natural path that time has shaped. You're not being yanked. You're sliding through time. Understanding this removes the mystery from gravity. It turns it into something beautiful and elegant. The entire universe is filled with patterns of time flowing at different speeds near different objects. Those patterns control how things move, spin, fall and orbit. The slower time becomes near something massive, the more clearly we feel the effect of gravity. If time didn't change near mass, gravity would not exist in the way we know it. So gravity is really just time doing its quiet work, bending gently around the stars and planets, creating the invisible paths that everything must follow. When we understand that gravity is the result of warp time, it makes everything more connected. The sky, the ground, the stars. They all follow the same rule. The universe moves not because of force, but because time bends and everything dances to its rhythm. Black holes show us how powerful the bending of time can be. These strange cosmic objects are made from collapsed stars that have become so dense their gravity is incredibly strong. But what makes black holes truly special is how they affect time. Near a black hole, time slows down more than anywhere else in the universe. As you get closer to the black hole, clocks begin to tick slower and slower. At the edge of the black hole, called the event horizon, time nearly stops for an outside observer. This extreme slowdown is not just theory, it's part of the way black holes behave. If you watched a spaceship falling into a black hole, it would seem to freeze at the event horizon, never quite crossing over. But from the spaceship's point of view, time continues normally. That shows how flexible and strange time becomes when gravity is strong. Inside a black hole, time and space switch roles. The direction toward the center becomes like moving forward in time. You cannot stop it and you cannot turn around. The pull of the black hole is really the flow of time dragging everything inward. This shows that gravity is deeply tied to the flow of time, not just space. Without time, gravity and motion would be impossible. Nothing could fall, move or orbit. Time is not just a backdrop for events. It is what lets events happen. Disclaimer. As an Amazon and other affiliate, I earn from qualifying purchases at no additional cost to you. Drop your questions or theories in the comments. And if there's a topic you want us to explore next, let us know. Your idea could shape our next video. Thank you for joining us on this journey through how time causes gravity. Thank you for watching. Please like and share the video. And if this video helped you understand something complex in a simple and clear way, there's a lot more where that came from. We break down big ideas into easy explanations that anyone can follow. No complicated jargon, just straight answers to fascinating questions. 
Join us to keep learning in the easiest and most interesting way possible. Whether it's science, space, technology, or just something you've always wondered about, this channel is here to explain it all. To explore the world together, one simple explanation at a time, please subscribe.